Hey guys, um, part seven here, and we're gonna do uh, the integral of sinh squared. And since we're given sinh here, we know that we can rewrite our integral um, as follows, which is we can write uh, e to the x minus e to the negative x um, divided by two, which is sinh, and then square it. Um, and then of course dx, right? Okay, cool. Now uh, we can write um, that what we have is the same as uh, e to the x minus e to the negative x squared and then divided by 4 and then of course dx, right? This divided by 4 and then of course dx, right? Okay, so this is going to be in turn 1 fourth. Uh, we can take out the fourth in front of the integral, right? Um, and then we've got um, the square of this. What is that? Well, that's a binomial squared, right? So it's like, um, uh, I wanted to change colors. So it's like, if we had a minus b squared, what would that look like? Surely this would be a squared minus 2ab um, plus b squared, right? It's just that a is e to the x and then b is e to the negative x. Now, um, I'd like you to pay attention to this middle term because that's gonna be minus two times e to the x times e to the negative x. Now by exponent rules, this is gonna turn into e to the zero, which is one. So the middle term is just gonna be minus two, yeah? Otherwise, this is going to turn to e to the x squared, and this is going to be e to the negative x squared, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. But the middle term is gonna turn into minus two. So we got it, we got it. Um, so then this says, We've got e to the x squared, and then minus two, and then plus e to the negative x squared. All of this divided by, all of this divided by four. Well, I already had the four in front of the integral, so my bad. So just dx, right? Okay, cool. Now this here is just e to the two x, and this here is just e to the negative two x. So then we've got a quarter, and then times the integral of e to the 2x and then minus 2 and then plus e to the negative 2x and then of course dx, right? Okay, um, now we need to make some room. That's a truck passing by in case you're curious. It's not like an alien spaceship. Um, it'd be a bit more like, you know, entertaining if it was an alien spaceship. Um, okay, okay, okay. Anyway, um, here it goes. So this is a fourth, and then um, you can turn this into three different integrals, but we could just do it all at once, right? So the integral of this is just um, one half e to the two x. And then the integral of this is just gonna be minus two x, right? And then the integral of that is going to be um, negative one half, and then uh, e to the uh, negative two x, right? Okay, and then plus C. I guess like this double parentheses kind of unnecessary. Instead of that plus, I can write a minus and write it a bit cleaner. So I'll do that. So minus one half and then e to the negative two x. And then of course plus C, right? Okay, cool. So then um, I'm going to lead with uh, the middle term. In other words, I'm going to distribute the fourth, um, the quarter, to all three terms, but I'm going to write them out of order with the middle term first. So one fourth times minus two x is going to make um, minus one half x. And then we'll have plus, I'm gonna keep the fourth factored out. Fuck, 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 fuck. Hey guys, part seven here, and here we're dealing with um, the integral of cinch squared, and here's a reminder of um, how we define cinch. So it's clear that the given integral can be re rewritten as um, e to the x minus e to the negative x uh, divided by two all squared, right? And then of course dx, right? Okay, okay, cool. And then in turn, we can write that what we have is the same as um, e to the x minus e to the negative x squared and then divided by 4 times dx, right? Okay, cool. 
And then we can factor out the quarter, and right, that we have is one fourth integral, one fourth integral of, um, well, how do we deal with that um, binomial? Well, a quick reminder is if we have a minus b all squared, uh, remember that's a squared minus 2ab and then plus b squared, right? Okay, in particular, I want you to pay attention to this middle term in the context of um, uh, dealing with this binomial square. Um, notice that this middle term is going to be minus 2 times e to the x times e to the negative x, but then um, e to the negative x. But then by exponent rules, this here is e to the 0, so it's 1. So it's just minus 2, this middle term. So uh, keep that in mind, but um, otherwise, uh, we've got, um, we've got um, e to the x squared, and then minus 2, and then plus e to the negative x squared. Um, and I've taken out the fourth, so all I have to write is dx right here, right? Okay, cool. Now, remember, this is just e to the 2x, and this is e to the negative 2x. So our integral, in turn, can be written as 1 fourth, and then integral e to the 2x minus 2 plus e to the negative 2x, and then, of course, times dx. Cool, cool, cool. Um, now, let me make way and, uh, yeah, get rid of this. But otherwise, um, sliding this up, uh, we can split this into three integrals, but we could just deal with it as is, right? So what we've got is like a quarter and then times the integral of this will have to be one half times e to the 2x, right? And then the integral of this is just minus 2x. And then the integral of this will have to be uh, negative one half e to the negative 2x. And then, of course, plus c, right? Okay, now um, I'm going to distribute this fourth only to this guy and so lead with uh, this times this as being like the first thing. So that would mean I have a fourth times minus 2x and that's um, minus 1 half x. And I chose to lead with this times that because we can group the other things uh, more conveniently if we keep the one-fourth factored out. So if we keep the one-fourth factored out, what we have left is just this and that. And fact, uh, keeping the um, one-half in front, we've got e to the 2x um, minus e to the negative 2x um, and then plus c. But wait, um, we could have written um, uh, this instead, which is e to the 2x minus e to the uh, negative 2x um, divided by 2, which makes it a bit easier to recognize uh, what I just wrote down. Um, and then, of course, plus c, right? Notice that this here is just cinch 2x, because if I replace this with a 2x here, this would be a 2x and this would be a negative 2x. So this here is just cinch 2x. So I think we've got... Um, what our final answer will be. We can write it succinctly. And this is how. Our final answer is, let's pull this up. Our final answer is going to be um, minus one half x plus a quarter of, you guessed it, cinch two x and then plus c. Yeah? All right, cool. Uh, next video is this. Keep watching.